this series is not for the faint of heart. It's creepy as hell. What's up YouTube, this is your boy G, back in another video. Today we're gonna talk about a new super awesome horror original series that Netflix just dropped last September 13, Marianne. Let me be honest to you all, this series is not for the faint of heart. It's creepy as hell and I love it, I love it every part of it. So Marion is the latest addition of Netflix to their lineup of spectacular non-English spoken series like uh, Dark, uh, Money Heist to name a few. But this time this series is taking the very popular haunting of the Hill House head on. And I think this is definitely scarier than that. Marianne is very dark and deals with uh, evil and witchcraft and has a very unique way of uh, presenting things that is very 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 creepy. Marianne is a French horror series that tells a story of a young novelist named Emma who basically writes a story about a character named Marianne who then realizes that everything she actually writes becomes real which then eventually haunts her, her family, and her friends. This show is very very creepy. First 15 minutes of the first episode of it and my wife already bailed on me. She says, Nah, I'm not gonna watch that. I do not want any nightmares. And I'm pretty sure this series already haunted a lot of their audiences on, you know, bringing nightmares to them and will probably bring more nightmares to more audiences as they watch the show. Hearing Marianne says Emma either in English or French is creepy AF. Emma. That's like on French. On English, Emma. Jesus, it's very creepy. Not to mention when you see her face, like her her real evil face on the mid and the final episodes. Holy smokes, it's definitely an image to remember. Emma. The story of this is very good. I really love it. I like the setting and the atmosphere as well as everything is happening in a little town named Elden in France where there's an old lighthouse, huge ocean waters that hits every rock on the seashore. Very, very quiet and peaceful looking town with a bunch of old friends which definitely will give you that uh, nostalgia, you know, that nostalgic feel when you hit the Younger Selves episode of those characters. Which tells their story 15 years ago that's a very nice touch I really like that story is not uh, it's not very shallow like other typical horror films out there it's actually a beauty of a TV series compared to some movies because on movies um, you have to to rush or to really compress everything else unlike in in, in a TV series, you can actually create a very um, intricate story, not rushing the show, but having about eight episodes as well in this season one, you're not gonna feel that this is also uh, being prolonged or being dragged. It's just on the right spot. As a matter of fact, I had to pause watching this from time to time just to uh, relax a little bit and, uh, and, and clear my mind as the scary parts of this um, series and each episode is just coming one after another like you haven't really recovered yet on the previous scary scenario and then another scary moments will just um arise or will just show it's creepy as hell i don't think um people with heart conditions should be watching this they should definitely avoid this series. The actress who plays um, Emma is really good and has this um, charismatic and likable character. She's rocking a very short hair and she's killing it. And when the story of their uh, teenage life unfold, every character is also cool. They're good, they're remarkable, and everybody else plays a really good uh, part of the story. I particularly like Emma's scene with um, with Lucy, the seven-year-old um, younger sister of one of her friends. Man, there's a scene there that is really, really scary. The image of Marianne is still stuck on my head. Actually, I love a lot of scenes in this series. On each episode, it's really good. Like, there's a lot of scary moments in each episode. You're not really gonna feel that there's a lot of talking, a lot of unnecessary stuff like in other um, series or movie. Like, Again, like what I told you earlier, first 15 minutes of episode one is already creepy as hell. Every episode here is really good. Wala talagang tapon. Sulit. 
Her assistant Camille, Cam Cam, is also very good here. She's really pretty. She looks like a very pretty uh, Betty La Fea. And she got a lot of um, really scary scenes too. All of them are, you know. I, I can't really remember a character that doesn't have that um, scary moment. Like, again, every uh, scary moment in this uh, series comes right after another. It's like barrage of scary. It's actually not a simple jump scare like in a typical series. Of course. It's a jump scare because you will be, you know, what the hell is that? There's a lot of um, slow scenes that is just building up tension and you will expect a cliche that it's not there it's not gonna show eventually but they show like the face of marianne most of the times just right in your face haunting you <laughs> on your dreams let me talk about the sound and music oh my, oh my god jesus this sound especially the music score of this series is creepy as hell there's one particular score that whenever it plays it gives goosebumps up to my spine you know and and raises every hair and in, in my skin even right now my i'm just talking about it my hair is already racing on my arms i can't really describe that um song that music you have to watch and hear for yourselves to be able to understand what i'm trying to say but that music score is creepy as hell the scare factor of that is off the charts those music with the weird transition of every scene in this series and every slow camera panning to reveal Marianne face staring at you is very very disturbing even when you convince yourself that you're not gonna scare anymore because you already know what will happen you know like um, you've watched so many uh, creepy uh, movies and series already like yeah I know that will happen Marianne will be there you know some some jump scare will be there but nah you know you know nothing on this show and you will definitely have a lot of those what the elf moments. Marianne gets a 9 out of 10 from me. I really love this new series of Netflix. Netflix, you've done it again. Dark, Haunting of Hill House, Stranger Things, Money Heist, and now this? Marianne is like a, uh, a dark of Stranger Things. You know, it's like, it's like the Marianne of the Haunting of Hill House. People will most likely compare because they're both horror, but I'm telling you right away, Haunting of Hill House is really good in the story wise and the drama out of it, but this one, the scary factor of this one is just top notch. It's a lot more creepy than the Haunting of Hill House and it has a really good story to back it up as well. I don't think there's even a comparison because in the Haunting of Hill House, you know, we enjoyed it as a family. A lot of people also will be able to watch it. But here, I don't think everybody can watch this. You know, it's just creepy as hell. If you're not really a hardcore horror fan or enthusiastic about horror, you're not gonna have the heart to endure watching this. If you think the haunting of Hill House is really scary, then you're definitely gonna enjoy this because this is much more scarier, much more creepier, and um, it's really good. It has a really good story as well. Series that we can watch while we're still waiting with the sequel of The Haunting of Hill House. With that being said, I'm also really excited for a season two or a part two of this Marianne series because the ending of this on the episode eight is really interesting. It's really unfolding a huge opportunity for a sequel of a story. I'm not, of course, I'm not gonna spoil you anything, but it's just really, really good. I'm super excited to see uh, what France will offer offer on the season two. Don't forget that Marianne also comes with both English or French audio, the original French audio. And regardless what language you're more comfortable watching, Marianne will surely send chills to your every bone every time she's gonna say, um, whenever she creeps right in the corner. So try watching this um, three o'clock in the morning alone in the dark with headphones on and experience horror like you haven't experienced before. Look in the corner and see if Marianne will also call your name. That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this video. Comment down below. Uh, what are your thoughts on Mary Ann? Have you watched this um, series already? Do you think it's scary or it's not? It's just meh like other. What do you think? Uh, Haunting of Hill House is uh, much more scarier than this? Or Mary Ann is much more scarier than Haunting in Hill House? Just go ahead and comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Go ahead and check it out. I review a lot of Netflix TV series and movies as well. Just go ahead and check it out and subscribe but again thanks so much for watching and see you on the next one peace